Hey guys, it's Sly here from Casually Competitive Yu-Gi-Oh! Today I have a chain burn deck profile for you, so let's get straight into it. We've got only two monsters in this build, which are Vision of Faith and Absolute King Backjack. Backjack basically works really well with the next card in the deck. Uh, it acts almost as a um, pseudo pot of duh, duality in Graveyard, and then Magician of Faith acts as like an additional copy of any spell card you have in the deck, which is really nice because we have a lot of really powerful spell cards. One example of the touch would be Card of Demise, which Card of Demise plus Backjack you can discard Backjack in hand phase, and then you get the uh, part of duality effect, which is nice. Then we're playing three copies of Shared Ride. Shared Ride is a cool tech for this current format, because basically every single deck searches a ton right now. So basically, when they activate their effect to search something, you just chain this, and it acts as almost like a maxi for searching. So that's really nice. Then we got three copies of Pot of Duality, because why not? You know, we don't actually do anything but normal summon in this deck, and we only have two monsters, two normal summons, so why not play an extra search card? Then we got two copies of Pot of Desires, you know, making the plus two is nice. You you shouldn't play three of this in this deck because you never really want to see or resolve the second one. So you're kind of hoping when you activate the first one, you banish the second one off of it. So, yeah. Moving on to the last spell card, we've got one copy of Chain Strike. Um, it's sad that we only got one copy, but we still kind of got two, don't we? But yeah, moving on to the monsters we got. Or, sorry, not monsters, the traps. So we've got Draw Alka Traps first. We've got three copies of Reckless Greed um, and three copies of Balance of Judgment. I also have one copy of uh, Ojama Trio to help out with the Judgment. Trio is a card that's actually kind of controversial, I think, for this format, for, for Chainburn, because you really don't want to be giving people tokens during when we have links out. However, this is really good because you can use this to activate it and then go for the push and kill them immediately. You wouldn't resolve this until you have game, or unless you're going to be resolving a balance Judgment for, like, plus five, and then you should be able to kill them, so play that card with sparing, like, sparingly, and if you can't resolve it, it's okay, because it's like the one brick we have, quote-unquote, in the deck. Or one possible brick in the deck. Moving on to the burn cards, we've got three copies of Just Desserts, three copies of Secret Blast, three copies of Secret Barrel, two copies of Ceasefire, and one copy of Ring of Destruction. Ring of Destruction, I guess you could say, is the second brick we have in the deck, potentially. However, it really comes up in one situation which is really, really good. So when your opponent summons out like a double helix, or they summon out an ice hold, you just activate this, target it, and pop it, and then they can't make their normal plays, and they're going to have to be playing you on a much slower game, which is just going to give you an even better advantage against them. So yeah, that is how you can play this. Then, the last section of uh, traps are the defensive traps. So you have three copies of Threatening War, two, uh, sorry, three copies of Wabaku, not two, and then two copies of Dimension Wall. Dimension Wall is basically a uh, Magic Cylinder-esque card. You could play Magic, Magic Cylinder instead. However, the problem with that is if a Nightmare Monster attacks you and they have a Goblin on, on board, you wouldn't be able to resolve it because uh, Magic Cylinder targets a card. This does not, so this is a little bit better. If you were to uh, change out the few cards in this deck, I would only recommend changing the Ring of Destruction, the ha -ha, Ojama Trio, and I think that's more or less it. Yeah, so if you wanted to change this out for something a little bit better, I'd recommend playing the third copy of Ceasefire, um, the third copy of Balanced, uh, not Balanced Judgment, Dimension Wall, or the third copy of, where are you at? Card of Demise. So that's it for the profile, guys. Um, I'll be back in a second to give you some test hands so you can see how this deck more or less opens. So yeah, see you guys soon. So hey guys, I'm back. Uh, I've got a shuffle deck. If you want to see more shuffling, we got it. But I'm going to give you some examples of test hands here. We're going to do the really simple test hand where you just draw five cards and just keep drawing five so you can get an idea of how this deck operates. So, starting with the first five cards, we've got Wabaku, Balance of Judgment, another Wabaku, Just Desserts, and Absolute King Backjack. So what we can start with would we set these three, that, and then set three. Uh, right here, we can, depending on what we want to do, we can activate... Uh, Wabaku and try to protect ourselves for the turn. Um, they might, they'll probably be able to destroy this, however. So what I would recommend doing for this, this turn is uh, letting everything get killed, including activating Wabaku to save yourself from getting death. Activate just desserts when they're going to be at the end of their Nightmare combo. And at the end phase, you have two cards left. You can activate this, and you should be able to resolve for like a plus five almost. So, yeah. And then after that, you can... Uh, or I guess before or after, you can activate Backjack. If you activate Backjack before, you can look at the top two cards of your deck and then set one, and you can probably act, you can activate it right then and there. So... That might work as well to increase your combos. In this case, we would have had Dimension Wall, Part of Desires, and Threatening More. Yeah, in this case, we'd probably want to search out... Um, really, none of these are really that optimal, so we just want to draw for turn. 
our draw off of the, um, the balance of judgment. For the next five cards we got, though, we have all of these. So right here, it's pretty simple. You just activate the, the, uh, the, the desires, then activate the duality, get whatever you have, and then you can use these for defense and attack. It's really simple. Um, if you want me to play through an actual full hand, I can do it in one second. But just continuing, we'll do one more hand of this. We got shared ride, secret barrels, a uh, secret barrel, not secret barrels, card of demise, another shared ride, and then secret blast. So right here, what we probably want to do is we want to like set these four cards, and then maybe keep this in hand and activate card of demise to jolt two and see what we get. Get ceasefire in that. So that means if we want to, we can just set the two, and then if our opponent is playing a uh, spiral type board. We can just let them go off if we wanted to, and then legit just, or we can we can let them go off or activate this first. Probably activating this first would make the most sense, because then you get some draws, and then after they resolve their combo next turn, activating all, all four of these plus whatever you draw off of it, so like Magician of Faith you get, Reckless, so yeah, you're able to get add back Demise and then activate Demise again. You'd be able to surely and easily kill them. So yeah, I hope that gives you more or less an understanding of the deck. We'll give you one test hand where I show you more or less the exact way I played out. So here we go. Go right there, and then let's go with this hand. We got one, two, three, four, five. No, we've got Part of Desires, Balance of Judgment, Ceasefire, Absolute King Bat Check, and Duality. So at first you want to activate the Part of the uh, Part of Card of Demise, sorry, not Part of Desires. Oh well, no. Not Card of Demise, Part of Desires. Then you banish the top ten cards of your deck. And then draw two cards. So we drew these two. Reckless and Shared Ride, which isn't bad. Then we can check what we banished. We banished Shared Ride. Well, we banished all this. Not bad, because really you have no cards that are super crucial or important in this deck. Here we can activate Part of Duality, because we've already activated Jewel Dawn 2 cards, if we know the best cards that we should fit in our situation. So we can choose between this, that, and this. So given what we have set, we don't really have a way to defend ourselves currently. So we'd probably want to activate... Um, we probably want to add, we have one, two, three, four, a set card, so I guess card of demise is probably the best case. Because we can hope to draw and swing a little, like as best as we can, you know. So, right here. We will shuffle the deck really quickly. Set all of these cards. Oh wait, sorry, no, never mind. We shouldn't add the card of demise. We should be certainly adding the um the uh dimension wall, sorry. I miss some I miscounted and read four. Doesn't make much sense, but that's how I do things, right? So if you have the Dimension Wall, that should be enough to keep you alive. Plus, if you think about it, the Shared Ride has, acts as a way to stop your opponent from comboing off fully. So if we set all five cards here, during their turn, like let's say we're playing Spirals, for example, they might start off normal something uh, tough and then targeting the uh, like one of the set cards. And whenever they target, we can chain anything almost, uh, except for this. That's the only card that I think is not chainable. Um, well, this wouldn't be either, because you wouldn't have to draw for it. We wouldn't have the cards required to draw for it. However, that's... If they have an equal chance of drawing or hitting any of these, one in six doesn't matter. And then literally you just use Shared Ride when they start searching, so you get some draws off. And if they don't go for a full combo, at the end of the turn, they'll be able to attack and kill this guy, which would get you the ability to look at the top of the cards of your deck. One, two, and three. So if he does pop that in some way, you can add Wabaku and set that, and you can be perfectly perfectly safe in this case. Um, and then at the end phase, you can activate all of these, or wait a turn or so, Activate these and keep get as much much draws off off it as you can until you plus and win. That's more or less how you go about it. Um, thanks guys for watching. Uh, if you like the video, uh, like the video. Uh, if you dislike, dislike. If you um, want more content, feel free to subscribe and uh, see you guys next time on Dragon Ball Z Kai.